The Minister for Health, Sibongile Simelane, says the survey conducted by the Ministry of Health on HIV-related issues will help the country make remarkable progress in alleviating HIV in the country. The minister was speaking at Nguyen PC during the Swaziland HIV Incidence Measurement Survey with a report. The aim of the project, known as SHIMS, which stands for Swaziland HIV Incidence Measurement Survey, is to measure the effectiveness of the programs and services provided by the health sector as a way of strengthening interventions and policies in line Vision 2022. It has been through research that the country has made remarkable progress in HIV management and other programs. The Minister of Health, Sibongi Des says, in 2011, survey analysis gave the country way on how we can conduct surveys. The minister says for the past five years, data has been a critical reference point for decision-making in HIV programs, and now it is time to assess progress and impact. She says research will give picture of the HIV epidemic program impact. She also applauded field teams by the remarkable work they have done in the program. The United States Ambassador in Sweden, Lisa Peterson, says the United States government, through the PEFA program, is committed to assist the government of Sweden as she fights HIV. The results have helped shape HIV services in Swaziland for the past five years. Not only did SHIMS-1 assist the fight against HIV in Swaziland, it set the standard for HIV surveys in other countries. It is now being implemented in 13 countries and repeated in Swaziland. SHIMS 2 2016, again supported by PEPFAR CDC and implemented by the Government of the Kingdom of Swaziland and ICAP. Ngwambi's Member of Parliament, Velishong, applauded the Government of Swaziland for prioritizing health issues. <laughs> In conclusion, the minister urged the members of the public to participate in the program for it is only research that can give the country a clear picture of the HIV epidemic and program impact. I'm Kian Msibi with Mubashonga for Swazi TV News, Gwen BC.